morning so this morning while my daughter is at nursery and my son is asleep having his morning nap I am going to be making um, batch making some muffins that I will put in the freezer for him I use these for puddings mostly I chop them in half and defrost them as part of one of the maybe one of the days you might have some for pudding so I've got everything ready I need I've put the oven on to 180 this is a recipe I've got off a baby led weaning app but I will link that below but I do modify it quite a bit just depending on what I've got in the house at the time um, but I'll show you what I'm going to put in so basically um, I'm supposed to be putting in three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil I use olive oil it's what I have it's fine I am um, I do like the recipes with cups I use these in my little cups I absolutely love them and the little shop, all shops sell them now I find it a really helpful way to make things and measure things so yeah three quarters of a Oh, sorry, three quarters of a cup of vegetable oil, two medium eggs, which I have already whisked up, one cup of yogurt here, I'll measure that later, uh, one teaspoon of, it says, vanilla bean paste, but I'm going to be using just a cheap alternative, a third of a cup of maple syrup, I use this one. And then what else? Oh right, they say to use one cup of wholemeal and then one cup, uh, one wholemeal plain flour and one self-raising flour. I'm going to be using white for both. It's what I've got in the cupboard. So I'm going to use one cup self-raising and one cup plain. And then they say to use one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter of a cup of lemon curd, three quarters of a cup of oats, like this, and one quarter of a cup of granola to put on top. I made these before and didn't put any granola on top because um, he was too young at the time. It said to say 12 months for granola, but uh, now he's 13. We're going to try it. I just bought this one. You can make your own granola, but I'm not going to be doing this. I thought the tropical one would be quite nice for him. So that's what we're doing. Right, um, I've whisked the eggs already and I have got the baking things ready and I've greased my tin I'm going to be using. Apart from that, I'll be doing it as I go along. So, yeah, if you're interested in this sort of thing, give it a watch.
minutes a couple of things I forgot to say was that I didn't use um, raspberries that's what the, the recipe said I used mixed berries that were frozen just fro defrosted them it's what I had in and I always try to adapt the recipes the other thing was as I made the lemon curd in my lemon curd was really solid so it says to fold it in with the berries and I put it all in and folded it in but of course the lemon curd was so solid I had to really churn it to get it mixed in um, I definitely recommend putting that in first on its own, maybe even melting that a little bit and mixing it in because otherwise it's a nightmare. Right, they're in the oven now and I'm going to get my son out of bed and then in a little bit I'll see if they're cooked. They might take a little bit longer, they might take a little bit less, I have to let you know, but um, hopefully they'll be all good for him. All done, I got these out of the oven, um, I did them for 25 minutes and then I basically checked them. I wasn't quite sure because the fruit and lemon curd made it a bit squidgy when I tested it. I gave it about three or four more minutes to be honest, not much. And um, these, I will let them cool down. I will use something like this to prise them out. I do find it's better with the margarine and cup cases. Um, they look pretty good to me. These are quite big. I would say, I mean, I'll probably only use about a quarter of these for my son, for each to their own. So what I'll do is quarter them up, freeze them in a big box, and um, he'll have them as pudding now and then so uh, yeah but they smell divine so lovely a million noises I've got going this is how I do it I basically write a little label for them I stick them all inside I've cut mine into um, quarters because he only has little pieces put a layer of baking paper in between stick that on I've got two tubs and they go in my freezer like that so I can see exactly what's in each tub it's much later now, I'm about to freeze the muffins, the kids have gone to bed, as you can hear the microwave's just finished, everything's cooking, um, but thank you for watching, uh, please subscribe to us for more videos like this, we do a lot of children's cooking, a lot of hauls, and a lot of just living and getting out and about, so thank you and we'll see you again.